Okay, you normally would start with your what your sash where the words are on it. So you want the words, you want to start with that part first. This doesn't have anything on it, uh, but that's okay because if you're doing vinyl, you would do it afterwards. And you just want to kind of roll this around in your fingers and get it all even on both sides. You want it to be the same on both sides. Okay. And when you get a little section of it done, and this iron, I want to tell you all about this iron. Show them the, the water, baby, in the iron. It's called a gravity-fed iron. It's about 150 bucks, but it gets these things so flat. And a regular iron will just melt it. Okay. And then I take this end. I turn under about an inch and a half. Because I cut it to 38, I want my sash to be finished 72 inches. So I cut it an extra uh, 3 inches longer, which was, um, I can't count right now, I'm too tired. Okay, you just fold that under and get it straight, and then you press your iron on it. I like to use the steam out of this one. You can see how flat it gets it. And then that needs to be turned a little bit under a little bit more. Okay. And I have this. This is that heat bond tape. You just put it between the two pieces. And you just steam it, and it, when it cools off, um, it's stuck, and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So then I just keep ironing the sash, going in circular motions. Uh, be careful if you do monogramming and you have some really thick letters. Um, you don't want to iron straight like this because you'll grab those threads with the tip of this iron. So be careful. And then I flip it around to do the other side. And just keep doing that until you have the whole thing ironed. I got really good at this ironing stuff. I had one of the girls that worked for me time me to see how long it took me to do it. It was a minute and 37 seconds to iron a sash, which I'm pretty proud of. Okay, now you fold the other end in half like that, about an inch and a half, and you flip the back end. That's pretty straight. So you iron that flat. And here's your other piece of heat bond tape. You just put that in there. And then iron that. I always flip it over and check the back and make sure it doesn't have places like that. And I have this iron set on three, if you ever get one. Uh, set it on three, and if you, I went, I actually went over to my mom's house. She lives right behind me. And I left the iron sitting just like this on the fabric. And when I got back 30 minutes later, it still looked like that. And it was not burned. So that's how come I love this iron. And then I fold it in half. And of course you're going to have some wording on it. Or you're going to have to put it on there with the vinyl. And I just set, uh, iron a seam in the shoulder. And there you have it ladies. A sash.